All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Captain Sparkle subreddit. If my voice cracks at all in this video, it's because I've been yelling over loud music the past couple of days with all the E3 stuff going on. And my voice is shot, dude. I was planning on recording an episode of The Deep End after this, and then I was like, I don't... Oh, there it goes. Oh, no. I was like, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can go for an hour straight right now. Anyway, let's see if I can go for like 15 to 20 minutes straight. I'm gonna do my best and hopefully not fail miserably. Don't worry, Jordan. The monetization was inside you all along. Marin, Moroy, money, and monetized. Naturally, because my last name starts with an N and also, er, an N. My last name starts with an N. Wow, I don't even know my last name anymore. N Naren, Jordan Naren. I've bamboozled you all along. It's actually my stage name, my real name. On my birth certificate, my driver's license is Jordan Naren. It's just harder to pronounce, right? Because two N's back to back, it never works very well. But yeah, basically my last, I should just legally change my name to Jordan Money. It'd be great. That's absolutely what I should do. So Jordan owns Super 8, I see. My local Super 8 is being rebuilt. Now I know why. Oh, I've seen this one before. In fact, I've seen this one before so much that I, I'm pretty sure I posted it on like Twitter and Facebook a long time ago. Good memes. Even though I, th I think it's actually, I, I think, oh God, my voice, ah! I think it's actually a real photo though. Someone just put up the text on the sign afterwards as a, a joke, obviously, but it's good because it's totally relatable. I saw, oh my God, dude, the other day, I saw some kind of hybrid chimera insect creature inside my house. I don't even know what it was. It looked like a house centipede, which I see every now and again, crossed with a potato bug, and they were in the same body. Don't know what it was, and it was kind of horrifying. And then I tried to, like, because I didn't want to squish it. It was at that critical mass size where it was too big for me to crush because I'd feel it crushing. It was... <clears throat> So I tried to shoo it out a door and then it got caught in the sliding mechanism of the sliding door, like in between the floor and the sliding part. And then, oh God, I had to like fold up a piece of paper and carve it out. Mm. Oh God, not into it, not into it. Chimera, potato bug, house centipedes are not a, not a fan and they exist. I'll leave this here. Sucks and blows can mean both the same and opposite things. I wonder who came up with that shower thought the other day. I like just seeing my tweet straight up posted. I'm glad you guys appreciate my tweets enough to just upvote them as is. No commentary on them, just straight up. It's my tweet. I'll take it as a compliment. My tweet's on their own. It's true though, and it's something that I think about quite regularly, especially with I'm up for that and I'm down for that. It also works the same. Up and down can mean both the, both the same and opposites at the same time, right? So like up, down, opposites. Oh, I'm up for it, I'm down for it. How did that happen? Why did we start using opposites for the same thing? Oh, that sucks, oh, that blows. <sighs> Suck, <sighs> blow, don't get sexual on me, okay? It's just words. That face, when you realize that everyone's gonna think that you flew out to San Jose just to go, God damn it, guys. I, 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 I did, I really, I just went to go to the Apple event. Totally, totally clear with you on that one. Just went to go to the Apple event, but it's, it's okay. You know, if you're in a, <laughs> in like a 10 foot radius of, it's probably even more, it's like 10 mile radius of a female, the conspiracy theorists, they start doing their thing. You know, it is what it is. It's a losing battle, guys. My night season three will never happen. Change my mind. You won't change my mind. Sorry. You ain't gonna change my mind on that one. I'm pretty firm on this topic. My religion is my night season three will never happen. So you're not gonna be changing my mind about that one. But again, wasn't my decision. Wasn't my decision. I'm just a realist and that's how I see it being the case. The new Jordan Knight update looks really good. I posted this one on Twitter actually, so I've obviously already seen it, but it was quality content. Thank you, WizK. I feel like I see your name on here pretty regularly and I appreciate your quality submissions. Port a Ford, I want that item, dude. I want there to be a Ford GT or a George GT in Fortnite that I can drive around in. Who needs shopping carts when you have a George GT that can drive up ramps and stuff? Port a short? I don't really wear shorts much anymore. Is my entire life a lie? Do you guys feel like you've been bamboozled? I'm just more in the sweatpants grind at this point. Port a fork, so you can impale me on the end of a fork. That's that's fun times. That's good. Then the only one that people forgot was Port a Jord. And that's what the replies were to this on, on Twitter. Yeah. 
The most logical thing, instead of asking for Mayanite Season 3, ask for Mayanite Season 4. Hey, I already told you guys, if the video gets, oh, I was the last one, but I'll keep it up. If this video gets to 1 million likes, I will do Mayanite Season 4. It'll happen. I'll make sure of it. So all you have to do is get the video to 1 million likes. Seems like a pretty easy undertaking if you ask me, but I don't know if we can do it. Feel free to prove me wrong. Jardun's Elevator of Fear. Collab with, oh boy, I'm gonna get cut in half here. Oh good, you're utilizing the uh, the photo sh uh Wait, hold on. What's going on here? Did you just did you just animate Gru doing the dance? Because that's pretty amazing, actually. That's a demonetized. Oh my god. This is actually pretty great. This is pretty great, high quality stuff. Political posts are gonna be a no from me. Mm -mm, we're not about that. Oh, and you drop the elevator, of course. I was waiting for something to get, oh, and then the book screen. God, you really just combined like everything in one. Did you go back through all my videos and go through everything that I say is a worst fear and or frustrating? Cause that's damn good. That's damn good, dude. I'm trying to figure out what the first one is. It's like Australia, South Africa, why, oh, oh, it's Brazil and Mexico that I always like confuse and geo-guesser. I get it now, I get it now. I'm happy I didn't actually get to watch myself get cut in half again here. So, little thing yesterday, this is, so I've been on an elevator as myself, uh, I just walked on quite a few times. Yesterday was the first time I have actually had to drive my car into an elevator to get it up another floor. And there was half an inch of clearance on either side of the mirrors, because the mirrors in the GT don't fold. And that was scary. Not even so much for the getting and cut in half factor, but just, what a God, what if my car got cut in half? That'd be worse than me getting cut in half. And there was a, there was a point when I was removing it from the building where the guy who's helping me spot the whole thing in, he like yells stop real fast. And it wasn't due to the mirrors like being about to hit. It was when I was out and I was like, oh God, is the elevator about to start moving or something? I started having this moment where I'm like, what would happen if the elevator started going and I'm in my car? It didn't though, it was fine. No damage, we're all good. But but I had a moment there. It's like, how, how far can we push this elevator fear? Ugh. Giordahedron must really hate the number 20. Oh, and also speaking of the car elevator thing, I did vlog the whole thing, so that'll be up sometime in the next week or so. You can look for it on youtube.com slash Jordan Mare and the vlog channel. Feel free to subscribe for quality content on a weekly-ish basis. Jordahedron must really hate the number 20. Anyway, just to recap, friendly creatures, 19, actually that's bothersome to me. I actually have this thing where whenever I put volume or percentages, I always try to do it in increments of five, even if I can set the volume to like, 18 or 23 I'm like nah I'm either gonna go 15 or 20 because otherwise it's gonna bother me things that might point to you having OCD and yeah it is it is kind of a coincidence though that I <laughs> ended up on 19 just like I do on reddit even uh even in Minecraft monetization friendly post well LMAO I can't believe they made Jordan into a real thing oh you didn't know that yeah dude they actually over in the country of Jordan they have a they have this super secret time machine the government has it i'm the first person to let the world know here in this video so they might come after me but really i'm actually their god so they're not going to do that so yeah they went forward in time and then they saw that i was you know making some sweet youtube videos and then they decided to go back in time again and they were like you know what in honor of your boy Jardon, we'll name the country after it, but we'll spell his name like the way it's actually spelled. I don't even know how my name is spelled anymore, if I'm being totally honest, but that's what happened. How many of you have countries named after you? Not many, I bet. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty awesome. Whoosh. God, it's gonna be some stupid comment on, oh, park in between the lines, you idiot. Oh, just because you have a nice car makes you think that you can park in two spots. It's a closed off car show. There are barricades around the thing. No one else is there other than the, it was, and we are, God damn it. And people are being serious too. They're like, oh, this is obviously he drives a supercar, can't park. No, it's a car show. You think I'm an idiot? I realize that if I'm parking in a public parking lot, okay, I am more likely for someone to ding my car if I take up two spaces. So I have never taken up two spaces ever. I always park so centered between the lines. I make an extra effort more than anyone to park extremely between the lines because I want to create a good impression. 
and not have people be like, oh, that guy must be a dick. So if you see me parked like that, it's a show where I was told to pull to a certain spot or we just arrange this photo shoot setup. Jesus Christ. If I had a GT, I would park in the box either. What do some, uh, uh, what? So some mug can park alongside and smash my car with his door. It's more likely you get damaged for parking on the lines. People get pissed and damaged on purpose. I'll take a door ding. I would get a nice key line any day. Plus the car's wrapped. It would take some force to mess up the paint. Or it's a car show with roped off parking. Ah! I don't, I've, I always see it in comments on like there's a, the car prawn, don't wanna get demonetized subreddit. There'll be shoots where it's like, either it'll be in an apartment building parking garage where someone has assigned parking. They have two side by side spots and they park in the middle of them cause it's their spots. And so it's like, yes, of course, if you own two parking spaces, you can park in the middle of them. I could park in the middle of my damn garage if I wanted to, especially because it's a three car. So there is parked directly in the middle, but. That's besides the point. Or it'll be obviously at a car show and everyone's like, oh, can't park. I'm like, oh my God, it's so frustrating to me. Oh, God damn it. And the hardest choices require the strongest wills. World's strongest man contest. Judges. Uh, yeah, picking up some stuff. I accept that Maya Knight has ended so strong. <laughs> oh, was this actually done? There's no way that this was like the real original caption here, but I like that this was took the original comic and added a, a new caption. Great, great job. Great, I wouldn't even know the difference other than the fact that I don't think this is as, has as wide a range of people knowing to where, yeah, comics are supposed to be universally appealing and this isn't quite. Although, I don't know, maybe everyone in the universe did watch My Night. After Jord Bond, I present to you Jord Wick. They stole his Ford GT, now he comes for revenge. I can't handle the goddamn mullet, dude. It's not okay. <laughs> in case we ever needed confirmation that um, I should never rock a mullet, I guess here we have it. I'm glad you made this, because honestly, I was, I was thinking about what should I do for my next hairstyle, and mullet was high up on the list, and I, I think I've kind of discounted it now. It's gonna be a, a no, but um, that's like a, it's a pretty quality Photoshop in there because that's that's my suit top, but then the pants are not me. And then, yeah, that's that's real qual, and it's WizK, my boy WizK, like the Photoshop god. Not bad, man, not bad. I think my iPad glitched for a sec. What happened to my face? Oh my God. What, it doesn't even look, looks like a different person. Or maybe you're like, no, that's that's actually you, how you always look. I don't know what you're talking about, Jardane or Reno. Okay, that's that's you. Can we has monetize his upvote and demonetize his downvote? That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad. I actually don't because even if someone didn't understand the monetized and demonetize, green universally means go, and yellow would you know yellow light would mean kind of slow down. So hey hey hey, I don't like this post. Slow it down, guys. Slow it down. You hit the yellow one, even if you're not familiar with the monetized, demonetized meme. So I actually, mods, I support this idea. So if you want to make it happen, I don't have a clue how to do it. Feel, f yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Good suggest. How did we not think of this earlier? That's it. Epiphany. Oh my God. Jordini the magician accidentally does picky trick. This was from the black. I really did do it. Holy shit, what? It looks like I removed my what? Dog, I wasn't even trying to do it there. I probably recorded this video before the Black Magic video. I like took it off. I couldn't even recreate that as well if I wanted to. I look like I'm a professional magician there. He's just been practicing that all his life. He's just like, does it as a nervous twitch or something. And boop. How do you even catch that? It's so minor, but yet, oh, wow. I just don't know how you caught that, but yeah. All right, I'm amazing. Obviously, that's why I have a country named after me. My name is Bond, George Bond. I kind of want to cover up the face because I don't want to like give myself that look being like, yeah, that works, but it kind of works. And that ain't even uh, Photoshopped uh, like pants, like in the John Wick one. That's that's just me isolated from the background. I'm mirrored, so that's that's what I see when I look in the mirror. So that's what I I see myself as normally looking like, even though I'm the opposite way around. That's that's cool. That's why I have a country named after me. Also, whoever owns the rights to James Bond, I, I don't actually know who does the films, but if you, I know Daniel Craig is on the way out. So if you're looking for a new James Bond to represent the uh, five foot seven crowd, don't hit up Tom Cruise, hit me up. Hit a newcomer up, bring him into the scene, and then 
all us 5'7 boys will feel very represented. We, we might have Tom Cruise already, but we need a fresh face, you know? That's just what I think. So there we go. This is my pitch to you guys. Is this, it's WizK again. WizK just, God, the quality content. Look for the recording icon that says Miami Blue, and that's your boy in here. All right, well, anyway, that's about going to do it. Thanks so much for watching this week of quality content on the Captain Sparkles subreddit. I'm looking forward to next week. Maybe we'll do another, we'll come up with the pose next week for the next Photoshopping thing, and then and then WizK will make lots of awesome stuff. So anyway, that's it for now. Uh, like if you like, check out the playlist in the description. If you want to catch more of these, subscribe if not already, and music in the background, link in the outro, and stuff like that. I'll see you next time. Uh -huh.